Okay, so hey guys, it's Quinston, and today we're going to look at uh, queues. So basically, what is a queue? Now, a queue is an abstract data type, or ADT, which actually works in the, you know, like the stack. But it's not like the stack, obviously. It's like, um, you can imagine a queue as basically a line. Suppose you're going to go uh, take a bus ride. And uh, basically, whenever you take a bus ride, there is a huge line before it. So you start at the end of the bus line. And when you go to the, like, ahead of the bus line, you will probably get in the bus and you will be dequeued. So basically, you enqueue yourself on the bus line, and then when you reach the bus, you dequeue yourself and deattach and go inside the bus. So basically, you're in the pr in, in the data structure of a queue while you're inside the line. Similarly, if you have to buy a ticket or, you know, whatever that takes a line, it's a queue. So basically, queues are uh, data structures, abstract data structures, which could be used in, uh, I don't know, computer science and uh, even transport research and all the other stuff. Uh, even when you are processing data, as in you're processing stuff in, on the computer, as in your RAM has processes, right? Your RAM stores the processes in the form of a queue. So basically, you start a new program. So it will enqueue the program to the RAM processing a table, and, and then when you the program has finished execution the processor will dequeue that program and it will be chunked out um, so ba that's basically how the queue works you enqueue stuff you dequeue stuff it's basically like a line um, also it's a FIFO structure a first in first out the element which has come in first into the queue will be the first element to get out in the stack it was the first in last out the one which is first will come out the last okay in the queue it's first in first out so uh, enough of you know chit chat. Let's just get into the whole gist of things. I just written down the functions that you're gonna need for this. I, I changed around. I changed a few things around, you know, to just make it faster and easier. So the first function uh, is initialize. But before that, we need to have the stuff we need to initialize. So let's just define the variables which we need. So first, we need a static final int max which is equal to ten. This is the length of the queue, which we're gonna use. Next, we need the actual array. You know, we're going to uh, implement this queue with the help of an array. You can use uh, memory structures or whatever, a linked list, and, and whatever you want to make a queue. But basically, we're going to do it with this uh, array. Okay, maybe if in the future, uh, if it's needed, I'll, I'll use a data structure, like, uh, like the memory allocation stuff. So let's just do it with this. So you have int, and uh, this will be the array, which will be equal to... Let's just name it something better. Array Q. Okay. Which is equal to new int. And this here will be the max. MAX. Okay. Then we need a, a top and a bottom count um, you know, pointer. So you have int top and int bottom. Now I, I need one more uh variable which is going to hold the dq value so when you dq something um, I, I want to be able to hold that dq value so i'm going to int dq and that's all let's just make the first function so let's go void and let's just copy this control c control v and this is our initialization we're going to initialize top to zero and bottom to zero the so top is going to point at the element which is, you know, top is a variable which is pointing to the element which we inserted, okay? And it's going to increment itself every time. So this is where the posi this is the position where we insert stuff. Bottom, on the other hand, is the starting of the line, okay? So the top will be the final position of the line from where the line is extending. But bottom is the position where the line starts from, okay? So this is the first element in the queue. Okay. Next, let's make the um, nq function. So we go void nq int num, and uh, here we're gonna write. Oh, let's just you know make some space to work over here. Yeah, it's very hard to work without white spaces. Um, so here we have uh, two conditions. We have if top is less than max, we go the array our array over here array control c control v you know control c and control v are the best inventions ever made by man trust me you can't live without them we go top plus plus 
is equal to num and uh, else else you have a system dot out dot print ln and here you go num plus cannot be queued now why is this so basically what I did here is I took nq and I'm gonna put num as an enqueued value inside the array so here I go array q top plus plus is equal to num so when it's top basically top is zero here so if I nq5 suppose I do nq5 so it will check array of uh, 5 will be equal to array of 0 array q of 0 so after array q of 0 has been inserted it will go top plus plus because this is a dec um, post incrementation which means that after this value is used it will increment itself okay so when you use this it's, it's basically like ri writing this eliminate this and you go top plus plus it's basically something like this but I'm not going to use that um, let's just use it like this because I, I don't want to put brackets again because I'm lazy whatever uh, so this is how it is and, and if uh, basically our Q is up to the max value of 10 so if top is um, if top is greater than max it cannot be enqueued simple now let's go for the dq function so we go void dq -E -E and go down over here okay uh, we go here but, but there's one problem I, I'm writing dq over here again and I'm using the same dq over here let's just make this dq'd it will be easier for the program and also for us to understand. I, I, I don't want any problems. So we go uh, dequeued. Dequeued is equal to uh, the last value of this. That is the actually the first value. Control V. And we go bottom. So bottom is a value which will never change. Okay, so the value of bottom will never change. But we go then after this top minus minus because, you know, that happens. But then there's one more thing. We can't do it like this. This will be basically when we made a stack, we use this. But now we'll have to do one more thing. We'll have to f do something called as the adjust the queue. So because we adjust the queue because of one reason and one reason only. And that is because when you take out the bottom, that is the bottom is zero, right? So if you take out the array of zero and you return it to the dequeued function. So this will be int, sorry. We're returning the dequeued value later, later on. So if we dequeue this, the zeroth position will remain unused and that is not what we want we need we need to put something in the dequeue position so what we do is we shift the entire array once down okay you, you'll see when we execute the program we shift the whole value down once so let's do the do that now so we go uh, create method simple as that I, I don't like this private right now because I'm not using any other stuff like that if I need it I'll use it so we go for int i is equal to zero if you're not getting this don't worry at the end when everything comes together you'll just realize that it, that it works it just happens that c c computer science is very you know it's like when everything comes to you you get it but part by part it's very hard to understand so um, don't worry after coding this at the end we'll go through this once again and then you understand everything so you go int i is less than zero i is equal to zero i less than max minus one and uh, i plus plus now why did i do max minus one you understand let, let me just complete the function and then i'll tell you so we go uh array q control c control v of i is equal to of i plus one okay so see if i is if, if i do max then i will be equal to nine suppose i is nine because max value is ten and i is 9 and goes inside the loop i will be 9 so array of 9 will be equal to array q of 10 but array q of 10 does not exist because uh, because the the length of the whole array is 10 we can go from 0 to 9 but if you go from 0 to 10 it's not possible is it that's why we go here and put minus 1 so that it goes only till i plus 1 is 8 plus 1 which is 9 so we adjusted the q and we did top minus minus now we just return DQ. Q U U E. That's about it. Sorry, DQ'd. Okay. 
so we'll continue this in um, the next tutorial don't worry about it if you don't understand this is it's not very complicated at the end of this you'll understand perfectly so like share and subscribe if you enjoyed this uh, please come back for the next tutorial and uh, my name is Quinston and thank you for watching yeah